Hi everyone. So today's agenda is finding out something new or learning something new in LWC. What we are going to do today is uh, how to make a lightning web component available for quick action. Uh, there is an error called uh, element name action type is invalid. How to solve that? How to create a quick action without opening a model in LWC or you could say headless quick action. That is when you click on the quick action, you just want that function to be, you know, performed, but you don't want the model or the pop-up to open up. The last thing is we could get an error in LWC that is cannot change the type of existing lightning web component action and how to handle that. So let's quickly begin. So to start with, I've created a very, very simple lightning web component. Here is its HTML. I've not put anything in the HTML or the template. The second is the JavaScript. What I'm doing here is I'm simply calling a connected callback. And in that I'm opening a window in which I'm opening this URL, which is google.com. And in meta.xml, what I'm doing is because I want this component to be available when I create a quick action. So let's suppose I'm going to account. I go to live button links and quick action. I do a new action. And I select a lightning web component here. Now the name of my component you could see here is LWC with model. Now in order for me to have that LWC with model over here, I need to make it available for it to be shown in the list of quick actions, like list of components that could be used in quick action. So to do that, in targets, you need to say target and then lightning record action. So you know that there are different, different targets, right? One is lightning record page, app page, and so on, right? Similarly, because I want to make this available for quick action, our first agenda was that. So it is as simple as making the target as lightning record action. And then you will see that this particular lightning web component is available for you to create a lightning quick action. So what I've done here is I've created a quick action already to save some time so that this video is a little short. So here I've created a quick action and you notice here that we have a quick action. Let's go to account and I've added that quick action on the lightning record page. Now what I'm doing here is I'll click on this button and google.com would open. But also you would notice that one pop-up or one model will open along with it. So let me click on it. So google.com opened, but at the same time, you might have noticed that this pop-up opened up and you see the cross for that, right? <clears throat> so this is what happened. Now, before I go any further, just notice one thing that subtype of this particular quick action that we have created here is screen action. Okay, just notice that and I'll tell you later about it. So now see my problem is if I'm developing a lightning component, lightning web component from where, you know, the, the quick action from where this lightning web component does some action, I don't want to open the pop-up because it's simply redirecting to some other uh, website. I don't want to open a pop-up over here because it wouldn't look good. So how can I do that? That is the next thing that we are going to look at. So like I said, now what we want to do is we uh, just don't want the pop-up to open up. When I click on this uh, quick action, it should directly go to this website and there should nothing be opened on the Salesforce end. So for that, what we need to do is we need to add target configs and say that I told you here, right? The subtype was screen action. I told you to just notice it. So what our intention is that we need to change the subtype to action instead of screen action. And that is how when you will click on the quick action, it would just perform the action. It would not open a pop-up. So that is what we want to do. So for that, we need some code. And I'm going to copy paste that code just because I don't waste too much type time in typing all of that. So here we would add target configs in the target config. Now 
I have a tag called target config. So I'm saying that for target, which is lightning record action, the action type is supposed to be action instead of screen action. That is what I'm telling Salesforce. Now let me save it. Now you will notice one more thing over here. There is an error coming over here, right? Element name action type is invalid. That is what was our agenda number two also that what to do with this error. So I would just say that ignore this error. Even with this error, you will be able to deploy your component. I don't know how can you, uh, you know, not have this error, but I can tell you one thing that even if you deploy with this error, there is not going to be any problem. So let us deploy this. Now there is an error. Now let's see what is the error. Okay, now this is the error. Cannot change the type of the existing lightning web component action. That was also in our agenda. See, cannot change the type of the existing lightning web component action. Now, what is the, uh, you know, the ID telling us what is the exact error? Now, let me take you back to where we had created the lightning quick action. Now, what I'll do is I'll try to edit this subtype from screen action to action. Am I able to do that? See, here there is no option how you can edit that. So if you're not able to edit that from here, then how can you do that from here, right? Simple thing. So that is why it is not allowing you to deploy when the action type is action because you have already created a quick action with subtype screen action. So it is not allowing. Now, what... I thought, you know, what workaround I thought, I would delete this quick action and that way, now this web component is not getting referenced in the quick action. But when I had tried doing that also, and then also when I was changing the action type, to, like changing the existing lightning web component and putting this new tag of target config and changing the action type to action. And when I was trying to deploy, even when the quick action was deleted, it was not allowing me to do so. Okay, I'll repeat. Let's say I have a button with model and in that I'm using the existing lightning component that is without this target config. After that, what I did is I went and I deleted this quick action and then I added this target config, saved it and then tried to deploy it to org but still it was giving me the same error. So it does not allow us to do so. So then what to do? So the solution is that you could create a new lightning component. I'm just going to do that. So I would create a new lightning component. Without model one. Okay. Again, just to save some time, what I'm going to do is I am going to copy So all that I'm doing here is I'm doing a window dot open on the call of the connected callback. And now because this is a new lightning web component, that time if I do this of changing the target config, it's not even changing. I'm creating it in such a way that from beginning itself, its type subtype would be action instead of screen action. So again, I'll tell you one thing. See, when I created this quick action, the subtype was screen action because here we did not have this thing. It was only this much originally. That target config, it did not allow me to deploy. So originally in my org, only this much was there. But in my without model, 
this is a new component that I'm creating. And the first time itself, I'm creating it this way. Now, okay, nothing else is needed. So let us deploy this. Okay, so it got deployed. So let us come here and let's create a new quick action. Create lightning web component. And yes, I'm choosing this. Now you would notice the moment I chose this one, the subtype is by default action instead of screen action. So let me say without model. And let me say. Let us go to account. And let's add this new action without model. And let's drag it to the top. Let's save it. Empty cache and hard reload. Okay. Now we have this LWC without model. Now let's see what happens next. So I clicked on it, but it did not work. So let me show you what is the error. Let me again click on it. You see, there is this invoke is not a function. We are getting this error. So why are we getting this is, whenever you implement this, right, you say that the action type is action. What becomes mandatory is, you need to implement the invoke method. And how to do that exactly? First of all, you need to import API over here. And then what I'm going to do is I would say at the rate API invoke. This method is compulsory to implement when you are using the action type as action. And then inside invoke, so the moment you are going to click this button, it is going to run this method. And in this method, I'm just opening my URL. So I'll just save it and let me also see if we have any agenda missing. Okay, no. So let me deploy this. Okay, deploy. Let's go here. Let us click on like, okay. So now it opened the google.com and here you see no model or no pop-up opened. So this was our last agenda, which is quick action without model or headless quick action. So that's about it in this video. If this video helped, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you so much. Bye.